Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a stylish column chart in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful chart and I have created this beautiful platform using the Excel shapes. So friends, in this video, I will explain you how can you convert your simple column chart into a stylish column chart. So like you are seeing here. So here we have a small table wherein we have days and the service level value. I have used the rent between formula. So if I will refresh this sheet, then here you can see values on the chart will be changed. All right. Now I will explain you how can you create this beautiful chart in Microsoft Excel. So let's start without delay. I'm going to copy this data and I will add a new worksheet. Just click on this plus button and I will paste that data here. First, we will take a support column and that max value. In the max value, we will take 100% as we know service level can be 100%. So use here max value as 100%. If you are using some other values, let's say sales amount or some other values wherein you are not aware what should be your max value. Then you can use here max function max and you can take this range and you can freeze this using F4 and then you can fill it down. Okay, so it will return the maximum value everywhere. But in this case, we know the maximum service level can be 100%. So I'm taking it as 100%. All right. Now I will select this range and I'll go to the insert. Then I'll go to the charts. And here we will insert a 2D cluster column chart. This one. All right. Now we will click on any column. Right click, go to the format data series. And here in the series overlap value is minus 27%. We will make it 100%. So here you can see it is completely overlap. If you want to change the gap width, then you can take it, let's say, around. 150 or 130 now we want to show the value of the service label because the maximum value is overlapping on service label value so the columns of the service label not visible just right click go to the select data and here the maximum value we will keep on the top so just click on move up and just click on ok so here you can see we are able to see the service label columns. All right. Now what we will do, just right click on the vertical axis, go to the format axis. And here the maximum value we will take one because we know the maximum value of the service label can be 100%. Just close this and now select the chart and you can remove the vertical axis from here. Primary vertical. And we can remove the grid lines from here and we can remove the legend also. Now we will select this max value, the orange color and go to the format. Here we will fill uh, some light gray color, let's say this one. And we will select this blue color also and here we will fill some texture color. So just go to the texture and you can take any texture from here. I have taken this one, brown marble. All right. Now. To give this type of look, what we will do, we will copy this service label range from here. Just copy and select the chart and just paste this here. Control B. Just select the chart, right click, go to the chain chart type and go to the combo. And here you can see we have two service label. One is cluster column, another one is line. So here in place of line, we will take this line with marker. All right, just click on OK. Just right click, go to the format data series, and series overlap should be 100% again. Now, just select the line, go to the format, and shape outline, just choose no line. So we have only bullet points here, you can see. Now, what I will do, I'll go to the insert, then I'll go to the tapes, and from here, I'll take this rectangle. You can take it from here also and just drag it here like this a small size of rectangle then i'll go to the save fill and i'll go to the texture and i will fill the same texture brown marble shape outline i'll choose no outline 
Now just copy this, control C. I'll select the markers of the line and I will paste that here, control B. So here you can see our chart is looking like this. Now again I'll select this shape which I have just pasted or the markers. Right click and add data labels. So here you can see data labels are visible. Now right click on the data label, go to the format data label and label position we will choose center. Then we will go to the home tab and we will take the text as white, make it bold. So if I will refresh this sheet, then here you can see it is working. Now only thing is we have to create this platform to make it more beautiful. So first of all, I'll select the chart, go to the format and I'll take the shape outline as no outline, shape fill as no fill. Now I'll go to the view and I'll remove the grid lines from here. Select this max value and just skip the white font so that it will not be visible. We can delete the chart title from here. Now I'll go to the insert and I'll take the same shape which is rounded on a rectangle and just drag this here slightly bigger like this now pick this yellow handed move to the left hand side and then right click here go to the format shape and I'll go to the effects and here in the effects I'll go to the 3d rotation in the 3d rotation I'll go to the presets and here I'll select the perspective I'll select this perspective which is perspective relaxed now, in the by rotation, just reduce slightly around 290 or 295 degree. And uh, perspective, we will take around 80 or 90 degree. And now, I'll go to the 3D format. And top bevel, I'll choose this one round. And the bottom bevel, I'll choose this one. Now for the bottom bevel, I'll take the height around 30 points. Then I'll go to the shape outline and I'll give this shape outline which is uh, light gray, this one. Okay. So our shape is ready. You can change the color of the shape, whatever you want to take. You can take from here. So I have taken this one. Now we can move this shape here. And you can make it slightly bigger and send it to back and just keep this here now select the horizontal axis of the chart and put their white font make it bold go to the format and shape outline choose as no outline now you can select the column the shape effects shadow scroll it down and you can give some perspective shadow let's say this one and you can make this slightly bigger like this. All right. Now, if you want to keep the chart title, you can keep this here. So go to the insert and go to the text box and insert a text box and drag that text box here. You can put, let's say, device service level, align the center, center, make it black bold slightly bigger you can change the font name let's say Arial rounded empty bold the bold from here go to the shape format shape fill as no fill shape outline as no outline you can keep this here now you can select any of the shape press ctrl a accept this shape right click and make this group so this is one group now and one chart all right friends so friends that is how you can create this stylish column chart you can use this column chart in your daily reports or business dashboard i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching